Hey guys, it's Monkey Sentinel 101 here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on iOS 5 and the update. Um, sorry I haven't been doing much videos recently. The schoolwork, um, well, the workload from school has been piling up and stuff, and I just got back from camp, so yeah. But, um, as you know, this is a new video, so yay. So as you all know, on around October 12th, I think, iOS 5 was released by Apple to the public, and um, my iPhone's still connected to my computer because um, I think it's still syncing or something. But anyways, so let's go ahead and take a look at what it'll say once you unlock your iPhone after the update. So there we go, you can see restore completed. Your iPhone was restored successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow and then you're done. So then you click continue and you'll be brought to a screen asking for your permission to enable your location services and I'm just going to click enable. Then click on next and you'll be sent on a um, page asking for your Wi-Fi network and it's already connected so I shall go ahead and click yes. So right here it's pretty cool. Um there's a screen on the new well on the Apple features of iOS 5 I guess. And right here they ask you for your Apple ID and they say that your Apple ID is used to set up iCloud, App Store, iTunes Store and more on your iPhone. So I am going to go ahead and sign in with my Apple ID. Excuse me for a second. Okay, so over here you've got your new terms and conditions. And you can click on them to view more. But, I mean, who reads these? So I'm just going to go ahead and click agree. Now, now they're setting up my Apple ID. And... There's this like scroll wheel thing as you can see and it says it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. So let's go ahead and wait for it to finish. Okay, over here. So as you can see right now there is a window asking you to set up iCloud. So it says that iCloud stores your photos, apps, contacts, calendars and more and wirelessly pushes them to your devices. So I'm going to click use iCloud because iCloud is pretty cool. Then I'm going to click next. So then next they're going to ask merge with iCloud. Your contacts, calendars, and bookmarks on this iPhone will be uploaded and merged with iCloud. So I'm just going to click merge. So iCloud backup. Use iCloud to backup your phone daily over Wi-Fi. Backup to iCloud. Next. Alright, so over here there is a Find My iPhone screen. And um, it says if you misplace your iPhone, Find My iPhone can help you locate it on a map, play a sound, or display a message. So I'm just going to click Use Find My Phone. And I'm going to click Next. So now it is loading to bring you to the next screen, which is Diagnostics. So it says, help Apple improve its products and services by automatically sending daily diagnostics and usage data. Diagnostic data may include location information. So I'm just going to click automatically send because it doesn't, it sounds harmless. And so I'm going to click on next. So thank you. Your iPhone is now set up. You're ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. So, click on start using iPhone and you'll be brought back to your home screen. And I'm just going to click later here. And it's pretty like bright here right now. So, I'm just going to try to. F okay, I'm going to um, set the brightness. Hold on a second. Okay, and over here you can see that there are two new features. And one of them is reminders where you can jot down all your reminders and I have no idea why this is in Chinese anyways 
So I'll just set that up later. My iPhone's a bit wonky right now. It's just been restored, but I think it's like wrong. So I might need some time to fix my iPhone up a bit, like brush it up and stuff. So the other one is newsstand, and that is where you can um right right up here it says you can download magazines and newspapers in the app store so if you click on store you'll be brought to the app store and there is where you'll be able to download your newspapers and magazines you want to read on newsstand so but that is basically it um i might do a review later on so stay tuned and once again this is multi techno 101 here signing out